representing the officials for this match, first referee, Mr. Jojo Hugo, international referee. Second referee, Mr. Jess Villarreal, national referee. Our starting lineup is brought to you by Active White, the complete line of skin whitening solutions. Let's call on our Lady Blazers from the College of St. Benilde. Wearing jersey number three, Doreen Sanchez. At number eight, Zarmaine Velez. At number 10, Anna Katrina Maranan. With jersey number 12, Kati Kwan. At number 17, Giza Yumang. And at number 2, team captain and alumni athlete, Raquel Ordonez. Libero, number 4. Curling Joy, Muling Tapang. Starters for the Lady Mr. Blazers Edwin today for Leva. Coach Edwin Leva. We have Maranan wearing jersey number 10. Yumang, Sanchez, Velez, Kwan, and Ordonez with the libero. Muling Tapang backing up the rest of the crew. And now, our Lady Tamaraos from the Far Eastern University. Wearing jersey number one, April Lenor Jose. At number three, Rachel Ann Dakis. At number 11, Cherry May Vivas. At number 12, Mary Rose Cabanag. At number nine, Makayla Irish Morada. And at number four, team captain, Shaira Gonzalez. Libero, number two, Rose Ann Taganas. Head coach, Mr. Nestor Pamilar. For the Lady Tamaraos, Rachel Dakis banners this teams. unit with Shaira Gonzalez and April Lose together with Cherry Vivas, Micaela Morada, Cabanag, and of course, their libero, Taganas. All right, that was the active white starting six for both of these squads. And again, welcome to the arena in San Juan, the home of the Shakey's V-League. This is our second conference uh, of the fifth season. And Coach Ronnie, it's another good turnout for, uh, <laughs> for this Sunday's afternoon game. No? It's no captain, surprise that people have come in droves. No? Yes, right. To think that uh, kakatapos lang na All Souls Day, oh, oh. holiday para sa ating mga kababayan. Pero nandito pa rin sila. Yes. Dito sa spanking New San Juan Arena. That's right. And uh, they know what to expect. This is going to be an exciting match. And as we've mentioned in the pregame, these two teams just met a week ago. <laughs> At ngayon, pagdating naman dito sa Manila, sila na naman ang magkaharap. From Dumaguete to San Juan in Pinaglabanan, <laughs> green and gold versus the green, black, and That's white right. of the Lady Blazers. Alright, first point scored by FEU. It is still Jose serving for FEU. Jose has been the setter of FEU for the past three years and uh, she has replaced Wendy Semana. And right now, that is another service ace for her. And uh, Doc, Tinanong ko kanina si Coach Nestor, bakit yung mga nakaraan nilang pagsali, hindi masyado maganda yung kanilang performance. Yeah. Pero simple lang ang sinabi niya, ngayon, maganda na ang magiging aming performance. <laughs> Kasi ito na yung unit na gagamitin talaga niya, so susunod nilang sasali. That's right. So wala nang, uh, wala nang eksperimento. Oo. Todo na agad. Ito na agad. Ito na agad. And obviously, last year was a rebuilding year for FEO Coach. Okay. So right now, they're reaping the rewards of that process and... Right now, kita naman natin, solid lineup tong pinapakita ng FEU. Yeah, reigning UAAP champions, and only one person has left this game. Yes. Starting out well again this afternoon. Itong si Shaira Gonzalez, Coach Ronnie, she's just a sophomore yes. in the team, but she's a team captain. So, ganyang kalaki ang tiwala, <laughs> not only in the ability to play, but of course, dun sa maturity when it comes to, you know, being a team captain is no joke. Kailangan pakisamahan mo lahat ng players. You know how that is, right? The responsibility that yes. goes with being named as the team captain. Such is the respect given to yes. her by Coach Nestor Pamilar. But I think more importantly, it's the way she played the last year oh. that uh, resulted into her being rewarded 
to that position of being the team captain. Right well, now, mm. Doc, FEU 3, while uh, St. Benil serving here, 2 serving 3. Let's talk about St. Benil for a while, Coach Ronnie. And uh, in the last conference, it was quite eventful, uneventful, uh, I should say, for this squad. No wins last season, last conference. But right now, very close game so far, especially with the one against UST, four-setter. So what do you think of are there chances in this uh in this conference, Coach? Well, given the exposure that they've had in the last university games, Coach Edwin Leva was very honest to say that they are not here just for exposure right now. They that's are good. here that's to look here. for their first win. They are here to be able to compete. That's right. That's why they played in the university games to give themselves a good shot uh -huh. of finally gaining respectability. Yes. It was a very, very progressive league nothing uh, shake is really i guess they cannot use the same excuse as they had last no excuses no excuses, no excuses, na, excuses anymore na exposure lang no. ako right now there's so much exposure already <laughs> they need to prove themselves right now paano hindi may expose every day yung coverage natin dito napapalabas right now four for saint benil four for feu playing toe to toe against the tougher and more favored feu lady tamara they score in this one ordonez fooling everybody from the feu squad maranan will be serving for Benil, we're tied at four here in the first set, folks. Jose will set it up for Morada. Not only is she, is she explosive, but she has a lot of power. The preparation, yes. the wind up. Saka mature na rin, no? Hindi oh. na basta palo na walang direction. Alam na niya kung kailan niya itotodo. Alam na niya kung kailan niya ipiplacein yung kanya mga atake. Vivas will be serving. They're on top by a point here in the first. Five to four. That is a service ace from a missed reception from Benil. Kaya sinasabi ng mga coaches, one receive. Para uh -huh. maka ka, good reception. Second ball, maganda preparation. And then you can go on an offensive attack. That's right. So it all starts with a good reception. And that is what Benil failed to do in that play. Vivas with another serve. This seems to be long. Regalo para dito sa St. Benil. Third point coming off an error doon sa service. Mm -hmm. Taganas, yung kumpiyansa na itong batang ito, ang laki na rin talaga. Yeah. No? May kita mo sa mukha niya, ready yeah, to play, definitely. eager to play, eager to perform. Alright, good reception there from FEU. Jose tries to do the same thing as what Ordonez did a while back. One, without any wrist action, missed out on that one. Walang baba yung bola. Oh. At uh, maganda rin yung pakita ni uh, Micah Morada doon sa net. Provided to be the lone blocker for FEU. The result, long ball for St. Benil. Five for St. Benil, seven para sa FEU. Morada with a good serve, good reception there from Malin Tapa. Off speed hit coming from uh, Velez. That was a point again for FEU. And uh, very quickly, we head into our first technical timeout of the first set. FEU leading 8 to 5. <laughs> 